So we have an update on the taking out of Donald Tabby Shaw, lead vocalist of the Mighty Diamonds. And this is taken from the Loop News. A person of interest has been identified by the police in connection with the taking out of lead vocalist for the Mighty Diamonds, Donald Tabby Shaw, on McKinley Crescent in St. Andrew last week, Tuesday. The disclosure was made by the head of police's crime portfolio, Deputy Commissioner of Police, Fitz Bailey, at a police press conference on Tuesday. The senior lawman, however, provided no further details. I would just say we have a person of interest and the investigation is advancing. I don't want to comment much further on that, said the DCP. So that's our little piece of rock right there. Yeah. It's so beautiful and people are trying to destroy it. You know, they're trying to put Jamaica's name down in the mud. And so many people are making so many appeals and it's all falling on deaf ears. We're the envy of the world. We have so many talents, so many gifts. And instead of using it positively to leave our mark here, we're using it in a destructive manner. Or they're using it in a destructive manner. You can't stand at your gate anymore. You can't have a good time outside anymore. Everybody's watching over their shoulders. I mean, every time you leave your home, the, you don't have to go back, right? Because the the thing is turned up outside, right? Because they're out there trying to take what you have and in the process, they at times take your life or most times take your life. And that's for the almighty dollar that they'll be using to buy weapons later and bullets. Like there's no, there's no sense of br brotherhood. Where is that gone? Like you're my sister, you're my brother, brethren, sistering, none of that. Like it's all missing. Like we're not connected in any way. People who live like a street or two away. They know your comings, they know your goings. Right? You know them, they know you. And you're going to start handling money. Most likely you got it illegally. And the first thing, how does this make sense? Even if you have money, the first thing you go, go and buy a weapon, first thing you do, you don't think of buying a home or a car. Well, most of them are buying cars now. But you don't think of okay, um, use it wise, um, use it wisely to do something else. Why do, why does it make any sense to get this weapon, knowing when you're filling up this weapon, you're going to cause a lot of mayhem, a lot of hurt, and a lot of pain. And this is on people who are unarmed, and people who are innocent, and people who you have no beef with. And most of the times, these beefs, you ask them, what is the beef about between two, you know, warring fractions? And they can't tell you what is the beef about. It's been so long that everybody has forgotten what it is about. I mean, your grandfathers are in the cemeteries. Your fathers are in the cemeteries. Or they're in prisons. And it's still going on. And you know how it is going to end. It's a very small percentage of men between 20 to 30. That is the age group that is very active now with crime and violence. It's not teenagers. They play a smaller role. And the people between 30 to 50 play a smaller role. But majority of them is in their 20s and early 30s. They're the active groups. Go back and see, like, you know, check out... What was their family life like? 
what was their parents life like because most of them would have been born in the 90s or 2000 early 2000 right what was going on at that time for the first five to ten years of that kid life what was going on i don't know but going around and taking out people like that it just seems like we're barbaric and there's no civility there's something missing up here most definitely and we are seeing now a lot of information is coming through that they use a lot of new drugs that they have access to because how can you just go out and just take out people indiscriminately without no reason no no rhyme no reason just happy go lucky and passing a shop spray them and passing a bar spray them bars and shops now are very very dangerous bar owners and shop owners are being taken out on a daily basis now very regular so i guess they don't want to see any bars and shops open i don't know i wish they would just come out and say what their problem is instead of going around and just taking out people when you take out people like what does it do like how does it help you we're all born with gifts and talents find your gift find your talent find something to do with your hands if you're not the type of person who like book and pen or like to do any type of studying then there's other options because we're talented people right now jamaica's name is like going down in the mud the, look how many stars we have and that does not shake you people like usain bolt shelly and fraser elaine thompson all these people who are trying their best out there on the world stage so many athletes even if i don't call your name you know who you are every person who go out there and represent jamaica in every field even if you're cooking and you have and you're representing jamaica as a chef of course we're um giving you props right now in whatever form right that you're representing jamaica in and there's just a small group that is bent on bringing the flag down into the mud yeah and you don't know why you still do not know why they're doing this and you're blessed you are blessed to be living on such a beautiful island. Many people would love to live on this piece of paradise. And this is what you turn around and do. We all have a responsibility as citizens, right? To make our mark here before we go. What is your... What, what, what were you here to do? Because... It's like, you're, do you think the creator put you here on the earth to cause mayhem and pain? So I'm making a special appeal to Prime Minister Holness to, you know, maybe try to get a group out with sociologists, psychologists, counselors, get them out to the hot spots, the at-risk communities and see if there's any help that can be offered a lot of people are going through a lot of trauma right now because they've witnessed so many brutalities you know happening right in front of their eyes and children as well and also whoever is involved in any type of criminality and you want to turn your life around then you have this chance to do that you know, maybe you should sit down and open up to someone. Because deep down, there must be some hurt and pain way down there. And you're trying to spill it out on others. And it's, of course, it's um, misdirected anger. Or you're just copying what others are doing. 
So I think it's time that they approach this thing seriously and try to figure it out because it's the government's responsibility to keep the citizens safe. You know, if you're not safe, then you don't have a country. You don't have a community. You don't have a country because you can't move around in a safe way. And and that's going to cripple a lot of things. So we're going to end this video. You just take care of yourself and others. And it's time that we get back that brotherhood, that cohesiveness. It's It's missing. It's lost. And we need to get it back. So in the meantime, see you on the next video.